Well, if you any, uh, <laughs> if you ever wanted to know, people are crazy. Here's a very good example for you. You know, I was even having a conversation about this last night about like people being generally dumb. I'm like, well, why is there so many dumb people on this beautiful planet of ours? I don't know. Maybe it is something in the water. I mean, this says, I mean, this, this number's correct. I'm reading this right. Almost 40,000 weapons seized as thugs, 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 no, thugs, bugged out motherfuckers. As thugs try to smuggle, why can't you just say people, you know? Metro's getting a lot of shares lately. Is Metro trying to be the new Daily Mail? Anyway, people, thugs, fucked out gangsters, try to smuggle guns and knives into court every day. Into court. 45,000. In the past five years. What's that like? That's un... <laughs> really? Now, look. <laughs> I mean, look, uh, full disclosure. When I was young, when I was like 17, I went to court for cannabis possession. Cannabis possession. Dope possession. And admittedly, I did have a little bit of weed on me when I was uh, in court. Um, by accident, I didn't do it deliberately. Luckily, I didn't get searched or nothing. There was no dogs there or nothing, so I was all right. Um, but that was dumb. But I was 17, right? So blow me. But like, I, 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 what, what are you doing? Like, what, what are you up to, bro? Huh? What, what, what are you up to? Why are you, uh, why are you taking guns and knives into court? What's, uh, I mean, look, I admit, Maybe it could go down. You could bump into certain rivals there. But how do you think it's going to play out? Do you, do you want to go to jail so bad that you're just sort of trying to guarantee it in case the the jury of your peers or whoever um, decides to make you not guilty and you don't get your jailhead status? I get it. You know, maybe that's it. You know, I do know that some people really do enjoy that the jailhead status. I, you know, I have spoken to some people from. Uh, from jail <laughs> some people out of jail are like f really sing jail's praises they, they, they think it's it's absolutely great I genuinely do love jail jailheads man they they um yeah they say it was just really good wonderful time that they've had in jail all the stories they have about jail quite re people who have been in jail can be quite boring in that respect but um I don't know like, what are you doing? I mean, I've seen some, I've seen, I've seen enough shit now. I've seen people openly trying to sell drugs on Instagram and Facebook. That's dumb shit. Posing with money. Doing drugs. On fucking video and, and photos. Posting it up. And then wondering why they get in trouble for it. You know? Uh, see that shit? But, you know, I don't know. Why, why are you going to court... Why are, you, why are you taking a... Why are you doing that? Why? I guess we'll read it. Criminals are caught trying to smuggle guns and knives into court every day. Every day you're doing this. You really every day? This is what you're doing? I'm in court. Rob, I'm in court. Oh, yeah? You think about taking a skeng into court? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is, is that what... Is that... Is that... Um, you know, did you put on your best suit and think... If you were in a suit of court, I don't. I didn't. I, well, I never have. Like, but did you? Did you go? Oh, um, yeah. So I need to uh, wear my suit, have uh, me, 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 have me oyster card, and um, fucking Mac Ten, I suppose. Seized by authorities in the past five years, right, amounting to a rate of nearly thirty every day. That's that's can't believe. I can't believe. I really. What is going? On? What, what is? What, 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 what the fuck? Thirty, thirty. Like if 
before I I seen this by chance. If, if before seeing this, if you if you'd asked me how how many weapons do you think are seized in in courts every day, I'd say like like none, probably like maybe you know a couple a week, maybe I don't know. I really don't know. This is just this is just like really mind blowing shit. This is this is. Yeah, this is something else. So, and now, I mean, look at these. Look at these ones. Fucking, I mean, that's not like a little knife. It's not like a pen knife or something. Look at it. What the, what's going on? So, amounting to uh, to rate thirty. Yeah, yeah. So there's forty thousand illegal blades. Air guns, tasers, CS gas. You're taking CS gas in there? Among the items seized, along with 50, 55 guns. Or well, at least there's only 55 guns. You know, that's uh, far more sensible. So, yeah, <laughs> some big knives. So, the shocking figures revealed in uh, Ministry of Justice statistics by. Dead Express investigation has led to demands from all frontline police officers. Like front line. Like court ain't the front line. That's like after the front line. That's like when you've been done. That's like what? Like what do they want him in court? I don't know. What's this? John Apter, chairman of the uh, Police Federation of England and Wales said we are in the grip of a national knife crime crisis where we are in danger of it becoming a cultural norm for some to carry weapons. It's been a cultural norm for carrying weapons for a long time, man. I don't know where... <laughs> People forget history. I like it when they just ditch history. It's good, isn't it? These figures are an indicator of just how brazen some people are. Well, yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's some brazen shit. Is you're in court. I mean, what are you in court? If you... Imagine that. If you're in court for like weapon possession and then you take a weapon into court what if you're in court for just like I don't know driving offence fucking just like rock up with a Glock like what What? the number of knives seized included 10,459 which were more than 3 inches long and 34,000 under 3 inches you see like a 3 inch knife like probably, you know, under three inches, I'd be like, oh, yeah, maybe. Like, fucking over, what, like, you've seen the size of, look, look, look at these. Look, look, look at that. You're rocking up in court with that. Why are you in court with that? What are you doing? What are you going to stab the judge? What? What? Well, the number of larger knives seized has fallen. Well, at least that's something. Uh, confiscation of knives and blades under three inches included cutlery and scissors. Has rocketed by 115 percent. Right, so people rocking up with sporks. Probably, probably using sporks. You know, that's the fork and spoon. If you, if you didn't know what a spork is, probably rocking up with a spork. Stab someone's eye out with a spork. You know, scissors. Well, maybe, maybe you like you've got the scissors in case you need some scissors. I don't know. You might want to do some arts and crafts. Whilst you waiting for the fucking verdict. I don't know. Don't ask me. Conservative MP David Davies, a former special constable, said these figures highlight a total lack of respect and contempt for the law that exists in our society because people are turning up to court, presumably as defendants or witnesses, blatantly carrying weapons. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, witnesses. You know, forget about witnesses and uh, other people. <laughs> Still, what are you going to court? It's like it's just not the best place, is it? It's not. It's not a good place to be going with weapons, is it? Court. You're kind of in the belly of the beast there, aren't you? When you're in court, you know. It's it's, it's the law. It's a place of law. It's a house of of laws. You know, it'd be quite quick for you to be put. Uh, put uh, anyway, what's next? 
He also called on the government to change the law to allow a proper stop and search to take place. Oh, stop and search. Oh, yes. That was stop and search. That really upsets people, stop and search. But, you know, there is data. You can look at data. About stop and search. That's for another time for me. I'm doing a whole thing on that, but um, keep... <laughs> Keep your eye out for that humdinger, because uh, stop and search is like there is a correlation over the over the years. This has been going on for a long. This sort of shit's going on a long time. Like we haven't got out of this cycle of like so it's knife crime and then it's gun crime and it's knife crime and it's gun crime and then we had you know then we had a bit of acid. Remember, remember acid attacks a couple of years ago? They were popular, weren't they? The acid attacks. It's all died down. People have just got back there. People don't want to buy chemicals no more. They just want to stab each other again. They got bored, bored of throwing acid. It's fucking stabbings now. So there have been 36 murders in London already this year. The Police Federation said that the latest figures reflect the crisis currently engulfing the UK. Mr. Apter said, the responsibility for addressing this problem lies with the government. Right. What is needed is more money and more officers to enable us to properly police and work with the communities we serve to start to tackle this devastating situation and this criminal waste of life. See, I, I want to... Yeah, fair enough, you're going back to the whole, like, street crime thing, but this is people going to court. And look at these guys! Are these being seized? In Some of the weapons police have... Uh, so those are seized in London. I think, like, could you... I thought that was some rocket up in court. Look at the size of these... Look at that! Look at that fucking... Look at... Look at what the fuck? Imagine walking in court with that. But they haven't, so... Yeah. <laughs> what is needed is more money and more officers to enable us. Uh-huh. The HM Courts and Tribunals Services, uh, service, sorry, said the rise of seizures of smaller knives was in part down to people carrying knives to eat food. The spokesman said, with stringent security measures now in place, including mandatory bag checks and metal detectors, we are better able to confiscate illicit items and deter people from bringing weapons to court. As a result, fines of large knives have fallen by 90%, but anyone found carrying a weapon is referred to the police immediately. Well, I should fucking hope so too. But why is he <laughs> such a random comment to go out? The, the rise of seizures of smaller knives was in part down to people carrying knives to eat food. So they're carrying butter knives. Is that what? They're carrying something like... they got some bread and some Nutella and a fucking spreading knife. Just a normal knife. Can't stab no one. It's just there. Just having, having a slice of bread with your Nutella before you go be a witness to a murder. Come on. I mean, come on, like. I mean, it's one thing going around stabbing each other and blah, blah, blah. But, like, come on. Where, where's, where, where's, where's, where's all the sense gone? Where's all, this, where's all the fucking... Well, why are you going to court with a, with a fucking hunting knife? What are you, you going to do? What are you up to? Is this... What are you doing? Jesus. Like, I, did, I, just, I just don't know. I mean, what do you say? What do you say to that? <laughs> I just would not expect those figures. And it is... And it, oh, you shouldn't be laughing at these sort of subjects. This is fucking hilarious. This is mad. You want to know how you solve these kind of problems? <laughs> like, stop giving birth. Probably. I can't figure anything out. All the solutions, there's never been any good solutions. You know what I mean? Like, there's just a high percentage of dumbness out there. I don't know what the fuck to do about that. What do you do about that? What do you do? But look, guys, come on. If you're going to court, don't be taking a, a gun or a fucking knife to court. At least to court, because, you know, that's, you know... You shouldn't be doing it anyway, but you know, just just have a little think before you go to your court date, um, and think about the things you shouldn't be taking into a court of law, um, where they have security checks and police, and you know, just generally, you know, law people, you know, law people, you know, people of the law. Just give me a little, uh, give me a little thought next time. What next?